The Powermatic PF31 stock feeder is tough, powerful, and has the capacity to handle the needs of even busy shops. The motor looks big for one horsepower, thanks in part to the cast iron case, including these integral cooling fans. The motor's power is sent through an oil bath gearbox that's built into the lower case. That power is delivered to the feeder wheels using this chain and gear setup. These gears can be swapped under shafts to produce a second feed rate range. The main shafts have a grease fitting in their end that makes maintenance very simple. Powermatic includes this hand operated grease gun so you don't have any excuse for not keeping this unit maintained. With single phase motors you use this switch on the feeder body to change between the low and high feed rates. On shapers equipped with a three phase motor this function is built into the reversing switch on top of the motor. This is the reversing switch on a single phase unit. The feeder wheels are covered with a rubber that doesn't mark the wood, gets lots of grip, but resists wear very well. These wheels can be changed individually rather than in sets like some feeders require. Each wheel is mounted on its own suspension arm so it has plenty of vertical travel to help it maintain contact with the wood. The column and arm are made from heavy walled steel tubing to keep this feeder very stable when in use. The feeder mounts the machine using this heavy cast iron base. As shown here in the Prowlermatic PM2700 shaper, this base fits into the pre-existing hole pattern drilled into the top. Powermatic includes this mounting template to make mounting this feeder on any machine easy. Vertical adjustments are made using this hand crank that turns a lead screw. Horizontal positioning is done with this hand wheel that operates the gear drive. Here you can see the gear segment along the bottom of the arm's tube. The tool free universal joints make setting this feeder up very easy. Even the coupler on the end of the arm can be repositioned like when we're holding stock against the fence on a shaper. Loosening this handle lets you rotate the feeder in the mount. The Powermatic PF31 stock feeder is obviously very well built and performs smoothly. It has more than enough power and is not afraid to work all day long. Considering the safety and quality of cut the Powermatic PF31 stock feeder brings, I think this is a worthy investment for just about any workshop.